now everyone's talking about split screens on this thing. They are uh, like five, actually six ways we could do a split screen. So I'm gonna go over them, and then you could uh, kind of stick with one that you like the most, or stick with a couple of them, uh, whatever you wanna do. Now one way to do this is you just take two fingers, and now you got a split screen, and then you pick whatever app you want here. And that you could also, and you could also do it from the side if we do this, and then you have that. So. Um, let's show you how to enable that. We got to go into settings, then we got to go into advanced features, and then of course labs, and then we have to swipe for split screen. We have to enable that. And this way, uh, you could swipe from the bottom here or from the side. Now, this also does work if you do it on the front cover, right? And you don't think about this, but I could also do it here, and now I got. Two screens, I could adjust them, do whatever I want. Um, this may not be the most easy way to do it on the small screen, but it may be of a, a reason to have a small app down here and a bigger app there. Again, whatever you want to do, it, it's possible. So that's great. So another way to get this to work is you just open an app, and then you got your uh, taskbar down here. You just hold it, and you can put it on the bottom. You can put it on the uh, top, the sides, wherever you want. You could even do one in the middle. So we'll do that. Now you got your two apps. And then, of course, you could do the third app if you want. We just hold this, and again, you could do it on, um, you know, on top and bottom of there, or you could also do a little pop-up. Now you got the three apps there, and you can actually have four apps if you want to split this. But that is a nice, easy way to do that. So we have to enable that. So we got to go into display right here, and then we uh, scroll down to taskbar right here. And just make sure that that's toggled on. So another way to do a uh, split screen is you have this little bar on top here. If you open an app and then you just click on that, you can make it a split screen here, you can make it a floating icon, or you could uh, close it. So I have this, this would be the floating icon. And then you could uh, move this around if you want, you could uh, close it, you can make it bigger, uh, you know, whatever you want. I don't know why it's going crazy there, but that's what it is. <laughs> then you could also do the split screen right here, and now you have this app, and then we have any app over here that you want to launch and you just click on it. These are the uh, recent ones that you use, and then you could scroll through all of them if you want to do that. Now, of course, uh, that needs to be uh, enabled as well. So if we go down here, we're gonna go down to Advanced Features, and then we gotta get into Labs. And then if you go here, Show Multi-Window Menu with One Window. So that means if you just open one app, you're gonna get this little bar on top there. If you don't want it, you click it, and now it's gone. So it's kind of out of the way. If you don't use it much, you can get rid of it. But uh, like I said, it's out of the way. So if you want to leave it there and if you use it a few times, then it's probably worth it. Now, another way to do this is the One Handed App Plus, which is an app I did a video on uh, that's, uh, sorry, but it's a little long, but it does go through, there's a lot of customization Customization you could do with this app. I mean, a lot of things. So I'll, I went through each step and you can go through everything and there's a lot of different uh, features that you can do with this but I'm just gonna show you one. So we got this here, that's our calculator. Now I have it set to do a split view if I just do this. And now I got a split view just by swiping up di diagonally like that. Then I also have it set so I could swipe back and it disappears. Then also I could swipe down and then I get this quick panel. And then this has my brightness, my volume rocker, my I could change my tracks and my music. And then there's a bunch of quick toggles that you can put on here. I think there's like a dozen or so you can put on here. But one that's really popular, I use at night a lot. If I have a big white screen like this, I just I click that and I can invert it and make it black, which is nice because some websites just don't go into dark screen, uh, dark mode still. Uh, so that's a nice feature to do. And we could just toggle that back. But again, to do for the one handed app, you have to change the settings, obviously, and open the app. And again, I'll go through that video and I go through step by step with it. But you can just toggle up and then you get the uh, split screen right there, which is great. Another way to do this is if I do have the two apps um, set up and like this. Um, we could save this and I could if I just click those three bars in the middle I could move this and resize them if you want or I can click this and I could reverse their order if you want um, Or I could save it. So if I hit the star now I could save it to my taskbar Which is down here my home screen which will just be an app on my home screen Which is real convenient or I could put it in my edge panel. My edge panel is right up here. So uh, we could do that Now if I go to my edge panel there is my the combo there that I had, right? And it just opens up like that. So if you have a combo that you use frequently, you could set that up and 
you could have a couple of combos and you just click that. You could open two or three apps immediately each time and that goes through a lot of stuff and that's great. Uh, you don't have to, uh, do, well, actually you do need to enable the edge panel. So we go into settings, I'm gonna go into display and then I have to go down to the edge panel here, right here, and you just turn that on. Now, the other thing is if you click the edge panel, there's some other features here. Um, so we have this, there's a bunch of other things you can put in the edge panel. And so you do the edge panel every time you swipe, it will just go over to the next one. Now, previous versions of this used to be able to download a bunch of these, uh, just like themes. So there was, you know, dozens and dozens of these different uh, little bars that you could download. I don't see them uh, a way to do that anymore. If you know how to do that, please comment on the bottom. But that's what we're at now. Uh, then the handle. This is the handle here, and we could move it up or down. This is the one-handed plus handle. This is the edge uh, panel handle that I have there. And you can change the color if you want real easy. You can move the position. I could have it on the right side, but I could move it to the left if I want. And then the transparency, you could make it so it's not very vis visible in case you don't want it to interfere with anything. But I kind of like it just so I remember where it is. <laughs> and you could do the size, however big you want that there. And then the width, you could have it uh, thick so it's just uh, more sensitive so you could toggle it. And it's also easier to see. And then you could have it so that it shows on the main screen, the just the cover screen or on both. I have it on both, but again, you could you maybe just use it on one uh, screen then you don't have to have it on the other ones. So there's another way uh, to do the, uh, we went over about uh, five different ways to do the split screening. There's one more way to do it. So if you just go uh, like this to your recents and you could scroll up and down, uh, I have them vertically. You could, uh, I set it that way. You could set, yours is probably set horizontally, but it's the same thing. But if you just go to an app like this, you got the app info, you could do a split screen, you could do a pop-up view, and you could pin this app. Uh, pin this app is a cool feature, but uh, unfortunately, it's just too much to go over in this video. So that's in another video. Uh, so stay tuned, and I'll get into that. But if you just do a split screen here, it will open it up like that. And then you got your other split screen that you could do here. And then you could also just save these to your taskbar or your um, edge panel or whatever you want to do, or the home screen. Um, so that's six ways to do the split screens. Uh, if there's any others, you can put a comment on there. Uh, but that's all I have for today. I have a bunch of other tips and tricks to cover in another video, so uh, hit the subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you get notified when they come out. And if you uh, like this video, if you got anything out of it, uh, please hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.